<laughs> good to have Daggy down. I watched it yesterday. <laughs> So good. Yeah, it's the best. It's Welcome back. Brooke, that means something, that music. It does. Have you ever heard the one about airline plane food? No, I'm joking. <laughs> I've got a big news story breaking for you this morning. Seinfeld star and creator Jerry is returning down under. He's going to tour the country with a new comedy show in June next year. After his last Australian show sold out arenas back in 2017, here's a little tease. We stream everything now. We don't watch anything. We stream it. Wandering around your workplace trying to recruit new viewers into whatever stupid show you like. Jerry, you've got to watch this show. Okay. I'll check it out. Okay, but the first four seasons are not good. Jerry says he loves Australia and, quote, cannot wait to come back to visit some of the greatest comedy fans in the world. The tour will travel to Perth, Sydney, Adelaide, Brisbane and Melbourne with tickets going on sale on Friday the 17th of November at Ticketek. And if it was a movie that... It was a movie that defined a generation. The trailer for the new remake of Mean Girls has just dropped. Have a look. Get in, loser. Welcome, Katie. You're never going to believe what I found this morning. Your burn book. Mom, go make snacks. For sure, for sure, Regina, yeah. Do you like gum? Sure. Oh, no, I don't have any. I, I was just... You're a mess. We will help you, Caddy. <laughs> Why are you dressed so scary? It's Halloween. Katie, if you don't dress slutty, that is slut-shaming us. That's just unprofessional. What? What's this? <laughs> Katie pushed her. Regina really should be lifting through her glutes. Tina Fey not only acts in the film but has written and produced it and it stars Aussie actress Angry Rice as Katie. It hits cinemas on the 11th of January. Keeping the laughs coming, the trailer for Candy Cane Lane, the new Christmas comedy movie starring Eddie Murphy is out. Check this out. Good morning, sir. Are you real? We all were until we fell into that elf sick trap. You made your wish. You're in it now. I didn't sign on for this. You literally signed on for this. You gotta read the fine print, man. The terms of service are brutal. We are not gonna let her turn your dad into one of those weird Happy Meal toys. No offense, I'm sorry. None taken. A little taken. We are the Carvers. We gotta catch an elf. You messed with the wrong family. The team behind Eddie's 1992 comedy hit Boomerang have reunited to bring this one to life. Candy Cane Lane premieres on Prime Video on the 1st of December. Now, last but not least, by any means, the sexiest man alive for 2023 has been announced. Former Grey's Anatomy heartthrob Patrick Dempsey has taken out the title at age 57. And as he discussed with Jimmy Kimmel, it's been a long time coming. They waited. like It's like a, uncorking a bottle of fine wine. They decided to wait till just the right year. That's it. Now, next year, you'll be a mess. You'll yeah, be on the downslide. It turns really quickly. You have, and the, you know what? There's been some foreshadowing of yeah, this. Yeah, we've been close a few times. You've not only been close, they put you on the cover That's of one Clooney. of George Clooney's years. Yes. They put you on the cover uh, when this vomit face won <laughs> Sexiest Man Alive. <laughs> You were in the little box, and now, oh my goodness, here you are with the whole cover. Yeah. Of <laughs> I don't know, I don't see it, guys. I'll leave you with it, rookie. Those dreamy eyes. It's coming up the six. Nice hair. <laughs> Actually. First, entertainment, and there's some exciting news around this morning. Swifties are having their wildest dreams realised as a massive announcement has dropped for Aussies. Let's bring in our Tay Tay expert, Richard Wilkins. <laughs> Thank you, good morning. Dickie, what's the news? Well, look, here's how it works. With all these big stadium shows, yes. you know, they release the tickets and all that, but they always but I lost hold, out, I didn't get any. They always hold a certain section of tickets until they work out where the stage is going to go, where the front of the house desk, where the lighting towers go, you know, where the camera positions are, go all on. that sort of stuff. So they hold those back, but once those locations are finalised, they release tickets, not all of which have perfect line of sight, but, hey, you still get to dress up and go and queue up for the merch and all that sort of stuff and sure. at a good price. So, here's the thing. Additional tickets, including partially obstructed side view tickets, not ideal, but hey, yeah. to Taylor Swift's three Melbourne and four Sydney stadium shows will be released tomorrow, 10 a.m. Sydney, 4 p.m. Melbourne on Ticketek. And tickets are priced 
from just $79.90. Oh. So for under 80 bucks, this right. comes. So that's good news, right? That is great news. If so you, you don't get a full view? No, well, these are, the, as I said... But you the, get to share the air with Taylor. You get to share Taylor's air, you get to go, you get to hear it, you get to queue up, you get to buy you get you know, to your merch, <laughs> and, you, and you get to go. And you will yeah. see some of the show. I you mean, get the to ones... be a part of the lived experience. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's what it is, isn't it? Yeah. This comes uh, as Swift, Taylor, this morning, has been announced as Apple Music's Artist of the Year sure. for 2023 and the most streamed female artist in Apple Music history. Wow. Or as Taylor Swift calls it, another day at the office. Well, exactly. Yeah. Those tickets will disappear in a flash. Yeah, they will. Yeah. And only get them from Ticketek. There are going to be people out there trying yeah. to rip you off. Do so it the right way. Do it the right way. Good advice, Uncle Dickie. Thank you. Okay, one of the world's most loved comedians has also announced a tour down under. He is most, he is so loved. Jerry Seinfeld. Yes. Been lucky enough to see him in concert a few times. He is so funny. Of course, he created Seinfeld, the show that the whole world <laughs> used to stop and watch. He's, uh, he's so funny, so clever. He's returning to our shores. He'll be here with a brand new show June next year. The last show uh, sold out back in 2000, uh, 2017 was completely sold out. Here's a little taste of Seinfeld on stage. We stream everything now. We don't watch anything. We stream it. Wandering around your workplace trying to recruit new viewers into whatever stupid show you like. Jerry, you've got to watch this show. Okay, I'll check it out. Okay, but the first four seasons are not good. <laughs> He's so clever, so funny. Doesn't swear, just his observational comedy. Can we go, Dickie? Can you take yeah, us to that? Yeah, I'll take you to that. Yeah, he says he cannot wait to come back and visit some of the greatest comedy fans in the world. Seriously, we do love him here. He plays Perth, Sydney, Adelaide, Brisbane and Melbourne. Tickets going on sale next Friday, the 17th November. Once again, Ticket Tech, where you get those. Love that. In the meantime, Dickie, a big name music act is... Oh, not heading our way. What happened? Yeah, this is... This is a shame. Belinda Carlisle. I love her. This is the fourth time, God bless her, she's had to reschedule her tour. Um, the first three times were due to COVID. Uh, she was due here just next week, but she took to Instagram to, uh, to break the news to her many fans. Have a look. I had an accident and uh, damaged my knee, and I have to have sort of emergency surgery tomorrow. Um, I'm embarrassed and I'm really, really, really sorry. And I'm hoping that it gets rescheduled for 2024, if you'll have me. And um, yeah, they wasn't expecting this at all. It's, it's, it's just bad luck. Look, as we always say, no oh. artist loves likes cancelling, especially when they've got a sold out tour next sure. week. So she's embarrassed about that, but uh, let's hope that September can get rescheduled and that that one will in fact stick. Very much so. Mm. Okay, in some better news, the sexiest man alive for 2023 has been crowned. Who uh, is apparently it? Apparently it came down to David Campbell yeah. or former Grey's Anatomy heartthrob <laughs> Patrick Dempsey. And? P Patrick De oh. De Dempsey won. Oh. Uh, McDreamy has taken out the title at age 57, as he discussed with text. Jimmy Kimmel. Uh, this has been a long time coming. Have a look. They waited. like It's like uncorking a bottle of fine wine. They decided to wait till just the right year. That's now, next year, you'll be a mess. You'll yeah, be on the downslide. But it turns really quickly. You have, and the, you know what? There's been some foreshadowing of yes. this. We've been close a few times. You've not only been close, they put you on the cover What's of one of George Clooney's years. Yes. They put you on the cover of when this vomit face won <laughs> Sexiest Man Alive. <laughs> You were in the little box, and now, oh my goodness, here you are with the whole cover. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, oh. Face. That's a, oh, <laughs> Mick Dreamy forever. Mick Dreamy yeah. forever. He says they should just finish it off now. Leave it with me. I'll carry it. For oh, you. all right. There you go. Oh, there you go. Mick Dreamy it is. Wrap it up. <laughs> hey there, today fans. Sarah and... What's my name again? Oh my God. <laughs> Carl. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports, and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?